So we've focused a lot so far on how to compute a dot product, but we've been kind of shying away from what does the dot product tell us. And we've talked a little bit about how if it's zero, that means the vectors are orthogonal, but we haven't really talked too much beyond that. Well, here we're gonna reveal a very important thing that the dot product can tell us. And it uses this alternate definition of dot product that we talked about in an earlier video. If you have a vector u and you have a vector v and there's a, a natural angle that's made between these two vectors, we'll call it theta, then the, there's a formula for the dot product that says u dot v will equal the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between them. Now, what, what we can use this for is we can actually use this uh, to discover the angle that's between two vectors. Because if you're given the two vectors, obviously you can take their dot product the old way, the other way, and you can obviously take their magnitude of each of u and v. And so after a little algebra, you can solve for theta. Uh, in fact, let's do that right now. If you're gonna try to solve for theta, first thing you'd probably do is divide by the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v. So you'd have the cosine of theta would equal u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And then if you wanted to know the angle between two vectors, you would just take the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of both sides. And so we get arc cosine of u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So if you compute this, it'll give you an answer. If your calculator's in degree mode, it'll give you an answer from zero to 180. If you remember, that's the uh, range of the arc cosine function was zero to pi or zero to 180. And that makes perfectly good sense. Your two vectors will be as narrow as zero degrees apart to as wide as 180. And if it goes beyond 180, then you would just take the angle from zero to 180 on the other side. And so this is, uh, gives us a really nice way of computing the angle between two vectors. So let's, let's practice it one time. Let's, let's see how this actually, actually plays out. So here we've got two vectors. We've got vector u and vector v. And uh, let's, let's see if we can use this formula. First of all, let me, let me jot it down again. What was it? It was theta equals arc cosine of u dot v divided by magnitude of u times the magnitude of v, of course. All right, so let's let's find these things here. So first off, u dot v, what is u dot v? Um, I'm gonna speed this up a little faster than I did it in the last video. We would get negative eight times negative two is 16 positive, plus seven makes 23. And the magnitude of u will be the square root of 65. And I'm skipping a little algebra here. You can do that at your desk. And the magnitude of V, that would be, uh, let's see, the square root of 49 and four. So that'd make the square root of 53. All right, so we have our, our major quantities here. And so theta, so we get out our calculator now, would be the arc cosine of whatever 23 divided by the square root of 65 times the square root of 53 is. So we just calculate or punch all that. Be careful with your parentheses and things like that. And uh, I'm gonna save us a little bit of time. I actually did this earlier and I got out of my calculator 66.9 degrees. So hopefully you got the same. Um, if you wanna put a little graph up here just real quick just to see if that seems accurate. Uh, let's see here, negative eight comma one, that'd be something kind of like this. And then negative two comma seven, that'll be something kind of like this. And yeah, that seems very reasonable. It's um, an acute angle, less than 90 degrees, but still, pr still pretty wide. 67 degrees-ish sounds very reasonable. So that's the angle made between these two vectors. This formula works for vectors in two dimensions, and it also works for vectors in three dimensions. So this is a, a great practical use of the dot product.